very important. Put my gloves on? Yeah. Yeah, I put gloves on to protect my hands. Because <laughs> <laughs> I use chemicals and heat and all that stuff. So I start off by uh, getting out my light sensitive paper. Usually I put a box all covered up and unexposed. This is one that has already been exposed. But I usually start off with an iron. After ironing a little bit, you'll see some bubbles start to pop up on the paper. The surface, and that's from the burn marks of the iron. The emulsion literally, literally <laughs> bubbles up and creates this texture when I iron. Oh. So, next up is I have this boiling hot water. I literally crumple up the paper, shove it in. Now, depending on how hot the water is or how long you keep it in the water, how you put it in the water, you get different results in the paper. So I let it sit there for a couple minutes. After that's all done, we let the test run, we take it out. After that's all done, I take it out with tongs. So I let it drip a little bit. And then I don't flatten it out before I put it to the next one because I like to keep this shape going on. And I grab my bleach. Literally just pour bleach right on top of it and let the bleach kind of soak in in different ways. Let that sit for a couple of minutes. Drip it off. Unwrap it. Put it in the taffy med by sulfate to neutralize the bleach and get it off. in here for a couple minutes usually. After the potassium metabisulfate, all the bleach is off. Let it drip a little bit. Go over here, turn the water on, and rinse off the paper some more. After several minutes of rinsing, I grab my awesome light safe bag. Just a little bit. Roll it back up. And then roll it back up. I can turn the light on finally. After that, this is the processing time. Go over to the color dark room. Right now there's nobody in there, so I'll turn the light on. You can see what it looks like. But we put the piece of paper through this processor right here. A lot of times you get stuff, but when it comes through, it comes out with a brilliant, amazing abstract of colors. So we'll come in here. It's dark in the hallway, but when we get in here, the lights are back on. So I come in here, and usually the lights are off for this. Take my piece of paper out. Try to be careful not to drip it all off the floor. And I feed it face down into the processor. And as it feeds, I usually pull on the paper so that it doesn't get all curled up in the processor. So because this one has already been exposed and I didn't really rinse it off too well, I will feed it through and I'll wash it off really good before anybody else uses it. Uh -huh. But that is Pretty much the process. I will do a real one and I'll show you the, the outcome. 